burden upon the economy, economies of nations. On average, around 50% of all violent crime is committed under the influence of alcohol. Statistics also indicate a similar link between alcohol consumption, domestic violence, and sexual assault. That was the research, and there's more and more. The study proves that there is, that, that's the one I was going to sh show you, yeah? alcohol use and the burden. Okay. The study proves that there is zero net benefit in alcohol. Literally. So, alhamdulillah, when Allah, brother Tanyu, when Allah legislates something, no doubt, like I said, when Allah tells us to stay away from it, either it has a pure evil or the benefit of it is way lesser than the harm. I'll assure you when we, when we turn away from God's legislation, what will happen to us? Look at the contradiction that we live in our countries. So they say alcohol is allowed. Yeah? But drugs, cocaine, is not allowed. Yeah? So basically, I can be a drug dealer outside the shop of license. Both us, we sell in the products that cause harm. And because of this product, people commit violence. I can get arrested for selling the, uh, my product, and the shopkeeper will not be arrested. No, for us, guys, it's lesser. I'm talking about alcohol, which majority of crimes because of alcohol. Yes? Yeah. And now, so the question you ask yourself, hang on. Both products, alcohol and drugs, cause the same harm. Rather, in some situations, alcohol is worse. So why alcohol is allowed in our country and drugs is not allowed? You know why? Because alcohol has high taxes. We make money from it. That's what Allah mentioned in the Quran. That if, if the truth follow people's desires, the heavens and the earth will be corrupted. But when people legislate something, they have desires. They have evil intention. But when Allah legislates something, it's a pure good. And there is no evil desires and there is no evil intention. But when human legislates something, they end up contradicting themselves generally speaking all right i'll give you another example when we turn away from god's legislation in this country in italy in our countries around the world or in countries around the world we teach our youth do not carry knives do not carry guns don't sh shoot at each other yes don't smoke drugs okay that's understandable which is good but on the other hand we bring singers to the country we give them ridiculous money. At the same time, those singers, what they do? They glorify uh, 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 disrespecting women. They glorify smoking drugs. They glorify gang, uh, gang violence and so on. And you allow the, the youth to go there. So on one hand, you say to the youth, do not carry knives. On the other hand, you bring in the singers into the country, give them ridiculous money. They're getting paid more, doc more than the doctors who save people's lives by Allah's permission. Contradiction. That's why in Islam there is a principle. When we say, let me make, I'm not sure if you heard this before, Daniel. We say Islam is valid and is good in every place and in every time. Why do we mean by that? Because Islam has a principles that apply to every situation. Like for example, the Prophet Muhammad Sallam's lifetime, there is no verse in the Quran said do not smoke cigarettes. But what is in the Quran, Allah told us to not harm ourselves. So anything new comes out, we look at it. Is it going to harm us or benefit us? If the harm is greater, then there's a principle in the Quran. Our Prophet Muhammad said, La darara wa la dirar. Do not harm yourself and do not harm others. And that leads me to something, sorry I'm speaking a lot, but just, I'll tell you something. That leads me to the marriage in Islam. You know, marriage in Islam, there is no really specific age. Of course, you cannot marry 10, or, I mean 2, 3, 4, no. But Islam have this principle, that do not harm yourself and don't harm others. In some countries, like in Italy, 14 years old, you're allowed to get married. In France, 15. In Britain, 18. So you look at, are you going to harm the woman? Don't marry her. You're going to harm yourself? Don't do it. Understand? So this principle, we can apply to every situation. Make sense? You know, to show you that Prophet Muhammad was not a liar, salam. Let me give you two scenarios. One scenario, during his lifetime, alayhi salatu was salam, his son passed away. He had a son called Abraham. So his companions, they were not familiar with Eclipse. Okay? You know Eclipse, yeah? Yeah. So his companions, as we say, tried to connect the dots. His son passed away. 
a clips. So that's why there's a clips. So Prophet Muhammad, if he was alive, alayhi salatu salam, he would have used that event of the eclipse to tell them, listen, you see, I'm a prophet of God. Look, because my son passed away, what God did to the sun and the moon. You know what he did? He said, no. When you see eclipse, go to pray to God. And this, what happened, has, to do, has nothing to do with my life or anyone's life or anyone's death. So a liar will try to utilize any opportunity to back up his claim. Second scenario, Prophet Muhammad, he had a friend that he was married to a woman that he loved her so much. That woman left him. She said, I don't want to stay with you anymore. So Prophet Muhammad once was sitting with companions and they saw the man following her around. You know, he loved her crazy. Prophet Muhammad went to the woman who she believed that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah and she has to obey him because he's the messenger of Allah. So he came to her. He said to her, why don't you go back to your ex-husband? She said, oh, messenger of Allah, are you commanding me as a messenger of Allah? Because I have to obey you because of Allah. Or you are just trying to help. He said, no, I'm not commanding you as a messenger of Allah. I'm just trying to help. It's up to you to go back or leave him. I don't want to go back. Imagine if he, was, if he was a liar, he would stay with his friend. He would say to her, listen, no, Allah told me to go back and respect him. But show you this man. That's why one of our scholars, Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn, Ibn Hazm al-Dahiri, they said anyone who study the Prophet Muhammad's biography with sincerity and open mind, and open mind, he would know that this man must be the messenger of God. Yeah. Do you have any question? Is that Portugal? Portugal, no. PTI. Pakistan, uh, oh, okay, okay. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah I'm good. Barakallah. Okay. I have another question. Go ahead. You, you, you spoke about paradise before. I know that in the Quran it says that when, when uh, I think maybe only the prophets, when they go to paradise, they have to um, to mate or to wives. But the hadith say seventy-two. No, seventy-two. Seventy-two virgins oh, yeah. is not for the. It's for shahid, the martyr. Someone who is fighting for the sake of Allah. No, someone, let me make it clear, because I have to make it clear. When we say martyr, no, someone will put a bomb and kill innocent people or blow up himself. That's not for the It's not for the sake of Allah. It's for the sake of Satan. In a jihad with enemies and it dies as, as a, fighting for the sake of Allah, he will have even two versions. Yes. But are, Allah. are these real virgins or Islamists? Uh, T-Mobile. Is like. E -E. What? You know, EE, -E, virgin and EE. -E. <laughs> you know, they're, 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 not, they're not virgin. They're EE, EE. -E. They're real men, they're women from Jannah, paradise, and they're virgin. However, some scholars mention it could be more for a man. But what if a woman dies in this way? That we should have 72. No, 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 because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He created men and women, Allah is just. And what is justice? To give everyone what He deserves. The woman's structure and nature. It's not to have more than one man, more than one one, more than one man. That's her nature. Even in our around the world, if a man has more than one woman, people look up to him. If a woman has more than one man, people look down on her, because that's the nature of woman. So in Islam is not based upon Islam is based upon justice, because sometimes to be equal is injustice. To make that clear to you, if I'm at home. And my wife, she's laying down next to me. And someone tried to rob us. I'm not going to look at my wife and say, listen, you have to stand up and fight him. No, it's my duty. Likewise, it's my duty to go out there and work and provide for my, my wife. And my wife sits at home as a queen, walking free, no one control her. You know, my wife is not at work, the man controlling her. What time she has to go to the bathroom and what time she has to And I'm not disrespecting the woman at work because some woman has to go to work. I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm showing the hypocrisy of some people who they try to look down on a woman that should stay at home in her own place, free, she's free, no one controlling her, you understand? So, it's, I, I have to go work harder, I have to provide for her and so on, according to my ability. Yes, but for the woman, whatever for the woman, the scholars of Islam said, you know what, Allah never mentioned what is for women in the Quran in details, because the woman's nature to be shy. But no doubt, Prophet Muhammad said, in paradise for men and women, what the eyes never seen. 
what the heart never thought of, what the ears never heard of. So for women, whatever they desire, but from the woman nature to not desire more than one man. It's known. Like I have a, I have a Muslim friend and his friend told me that they are not real virgins, they are maids, that's why we love you. And what do you mean? They're, they're not wives, basically. Yeah, yeah, they are not like girls, they, are, they, they don't have a gender, that, that's what... No, no, they are women, they are. Okay. What is this guy, maybe he's affected by LGBTQ business? <laughs> this guy was uh, in gender, uh, non-binary? No, no. Some Muslims, I mean, some Muslims, Daniel, they will just make up anything, you know? No, they are women, but how they look is different. Like Prophet Muhammad said, the woman of paradise. But guess what? The Muslim woman, it will be more beautiful than the woman of paradise. Yes. So the woman of paradise, they will be jealous of the Muslim woman of this dunya. You understand? You have other questions? No. Oh, I don't want to forget. <laughs> Daniel, yeah. it was my pleasure talking to you. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll see you inshallah. This, my, this if you want to contact us, you can it is here email. You want to contact inshallah. Or do you have Instagram page? Uh, uh, yeah, I have This is our Instagram page. I'll show you. Like if you want to ask a question, uh, this is our Instagram page. This. That's that. Okay. Okay. Take picture of it, you know, forget. These are videos. Yeah. Brothers, again, please blur his face. You don't want to be in the camera, eh? Yeah, blur his face. Is Amana, where is the brothers? SubhanAllah, look, I was speaking to some, you know, I'm an Arab. And I love my people. And I love the Muslims. Yes. And I love good for the non-Muslims. When I speak to my people, they drive me crazy. We'll shout early on. When I give that word, like, when I speak to you, we speak to some people, we'll lie, I'm calm. You speak to the Arabs, you know, Arabs, they love to shout and everything. I lost my voice. It was nice talking to you, yes. Daniel. Yes. It's my pleasure. Inshallah, what I will advise you to do when you go home, just between you and yourself, pray to God. Say, oh God, guide me to the truth. Yes. Inshallah. Yes. All right, take care of yourself. Thanks. Thank you very much. Akhi, yes. Habibi. حياك الله طلع بارك الله فيك بارك الله فيك آمين بارك الله فيك حبيبي طالك جزاك الله خير آمين بارك الله فيك إن شاء الله بارك الله فيك شكرا سلامك أخي هاو يا أخي جود الحمد لله you know I wanna mention something in Arabic as to because what happened earlier on I was speaking in Arabic was just insulting each other I would be like I was not good man أخي these guys they leave their cameras and leave Every video we're going to pull. For a campaign, yes. My dear brothers and sisters, as you know, our mosque is behind a market and the alleyway sometimes gets worse. So we're doing campaign to raise the money for our new mosque. So please make sure to donate and spread the message. May Allah. Huh? Link below. Yeah, the, the link will be, be below in the, in the, the, the what is it called? Description box. Description box, yeah. Barakallah alaikum. Yes, for the other ones as well. We are raising money to buy a new masjid. Our masjid, subhanAllah, is small, the back of the alleyway. So make sure, check our... Many people don't know our, my channel. My channel is Das Da'wah. No as Da'wah. These brothers record me, but my channel is not just my, me, Jamal Abu Kanza, and our brothers. Das Da'wah. Barakallah. Do Sunnah Da'wah. Barakallah. May Allah bless you, Akhi. Jazakallah khair. Khalas namshi.